uh, we have some talking points for today. <laughs> some really good ones. Some really, really good ones. With that, we're going to dive into Amy Poehler's new book, Yes, Please. Yes, Please. Came out last week, I think? That sounds about right. <laughs> uh, I don't own it. No. We haven't even read it. But I've read a lot about other people reading it, and mm -hmm. it sounds really great. It's nonfiction. Yeah. It's it all true. Really high reviews. Really great reviews on Amazon.com. Um, yeah, it's just about her story getting into the comedy business. She's very much about women empowerment, being a boss lady, which this is a comedy broadcast, so we're really we into it. Um, but yeah. Yeah, I actually wrote down a little quote. It says her book was fantastic and uh, kick ass. <laughs> so so that, we don't have a quote from the book, no. but we have a quote of what other people thought about yes. this book. Um, I'm going to say uh, Reader's Digest said it was fantastic. Okay, perfect. We're going to buy it soon. I'm holding out for the paperback because I'm on a comedian budget, and I think... <laughs> Natty is too. Yeah. So. I'm just going to borrow it from Casey yeah. actually after <laughs> she buys it. it. <laughs> yeah. That is super comedian budget. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, go out there, get her book, read it. It's supposed to be great. Um, the day after we read it, we'll get back to you. With some, we'll give a real review. Yeah. Higher talking points. <laughs> you know. <laughs> this is the way it flows, though, here on CBC. Low key, low budget. <laughs> no holds barred. Anything goes. But it's the wild west of <laughs> comedy news. <laughs> that looks more like Gunham style than me writing a book. <laughs> I tried. I tried. Um, <sighs> moving right along, I think Casey has a little uh, straight down from the streets. Oh yeah, Chicago. this is real talk, local news, breaking incubator auditions this weekend at Playground Theater. Um, I just want to say that I'm praying for all the people auditioning. I'm praying for all the people that are running the auditions. Blessings to you all. I know it's really hard to audition for anything. Mm -hmm. um, it's just nerve-wracking. Just be yourself. Um, try to stay positive. Uh, support your scene partners. Don't be a dick. <laughs> um, if you don't get it, don't murder anyone that did. That's all I really have to say about that. Those are some great tips. Yeah. Stay chill. Just do your thing. If you don't get the audition, you don't get it, you know? That's right. life. That's life. All right. <laughs> um, my th my uh, next little issue is with the world's finest, well, used to be, Bill Cosby. Oh. Uh, I mean, who didn't grow up watching Bill Cosby? Right. What about the jello and the pudding? Oh. <laughs> uh. Yeah, what are your fondest memories of Bill Cosby? The Jello and the pudding. The That's and the it. Wine. I didn't even watch Cosby Show that, that much until it was like on Nick at Night, mm -hmm. and I was too old for it. Yeah, exactly. But um, I love Jello and pudding, yeah, and of course. he was all about it. His fashion. I'm gonna take all that back. His fashion, the sweaters, killed it. Of course, nailed it. Did he? Did he wear big glasses, or am I making? I'm mixing that up with Steve Urkel. <laughs> Uh, yeah, wrong, wrong person. Totally, totally wrong. wrong. <laughs> <laughs> but, I, but I did see a picture of Bill Cosby recently, and now he kind of looks like an alien. Yeah. Now that he's really he, old. Yeah. He has, like, I really mean, bulgy eyes. I mean, he's decaying. He's, we're, well, we're watching one of America's sweethearts decay. That's true. And not only is he decaying, he's doing really creepy shit. Yeah, he is <laughs> on trial for, um, four... Teen. Four. Teen. <laughs> right? <laughs> Fourteen. <laughs> I'm starting to think of the word. Uh, Fourteen. He's a cute. Great uh, accusations. Rave. <laughs> you should do this show by yourself. <laughs> Fourteen rape <laughs> accusations against minors, which is kind of like, uh, it kind of like <clears throat> makes my childhood feel really fucked up. Right. That this guy that we grew up watching who was so sweet and family orientated and was on Nick at Night yeah. is now being accused of. And, and when I saw him on the news, he was standing there with like his wife and his little daughter. And I'm like, oh, that just feels yeah, weird to me. Yeah, it's all weird. 
I think about when he was filming the Jell-O and pudding commercials, which I think Lindsay Lohan was in one of those commercials. Like, what was Bill Cosby thinking about? Right? Who knows? Well, so, I wrote a little joke about Bill Cosby. Let's hear it. Because when I was growing up, we used to always say, when you had to go take a dump, everybody would say, oh, it's just, I gotta pull a Cosby and drop the kids off at the pool. But it turns out, after you dropping the kids off at the pool, Bill Cosby was creeping in the locker room and touching them all. <laughs> and maybe raping And people. maybe raping them. Uh, <laughs> anyway, <dark>. who knows? <laughs> We're also pretty ill-informed on that front yeah. as well, so um, maybe this is more information will come out. Pseudo news. Yeah. yeah. Well, maybe he didn't do when, it. You know what? After we review Amy's book, when mm -hmm. we read it... <laughs> We'll have better information about Bill Cosby. But don't expect to <laughs> yeah, get high level yeah. of news. Actually, here. don't have any expectations. We might never talk about these things again. Exactly. Exactly. You know, we're going to talk about whatever the <laughs> fuck it is we want to yeah. talk about because that's how we roll. That's how we roll. It's the wild west of comedy news. I'm going to do it again. <laughs> Got him foul. And now for Casey's Corner. I just want to take a minute to say that it's the holiday season. I hope that everybody is feeling good, feeling mm -hmm. positive, going into their auditions feeling great, taking new classes, meeting new people, taking advantage of the city that they're living in. If you live in Chicago, it's like the place to be for comedy. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, just keep it positive, keep it real, be nice. And, no, and, and know that we're all doing this together, you know? We're all in comedy in some way, somehow, and we're all here just doing the best we can, doing, you know? So doing the best we can. We're all sad clowns. each other. Let's yeah. all be there. You know? Catch a tear of your friend. That's what it's all about. That was a... <laughs> I got it. That was a little mime work for all you <laughs> yeah. improvisers take out a, there. Take a clowning class. I think there you go. <laughs> Second City offers clowning classes. They do, actually. Yeah. There's a really great teacher who teaches it. I don't know his name, but I heard he was great. <laughs> I haven't taken clowning. So. We'll, uh, we'll, we'll research clowning for next time. <laughs> yeah, <exactly. laughs> yeah, let's write down notes. Clowning. Clowning <laughs> at Second City. Uh, read Amy Poehler's book. <laughs> And keep up with Bill Cosby. <laughs> that should be a yeah. show. Keep up with Bill Cosby. If it weren't about Yeah, it would, be, it would be a sad one episode series. <laughs> we'd dress him up like Steve Urkel. <laughs> so bad. Oh, goodness. So All bad. Right. So Everybody, yeah, thank you for stopping by on CBC. We'll just continue to produce what we can and send it out there and keep you updated on Chicago's comedy scene. Yes. Brought to you from two of the finest ladies. I'm Casey. I'm Maddie. And good day.